Ladies and gentlemen, today we're going straight back into The Gentleman. This is episode three. I really liked episode one. I thought episode two was even better. So hopefully this keeps at this level. Do you know what I'm saying? Let's check this bad boy together. Let's waste no more time. If you want me to continue to react to The Gentleman on the channel, ladies and gentlemen, smash the like button and we will continue watching it, man. Got a lot of stuff coming next week and the week after. It is going to get a very rammed on the channel. So if you're enjoying this... Make it clear, bro. Smash the like button, please. And uh, let's do this. Man, out to our damn, man's going through his, his <laughs> routine, bro. This is to ensure optimal Yeah, the brother's going to love this. Satisf the dry expert. Oh, Ooh, fry up ting. This episode... This episode is completely different, mate. As an auto trader, import export, I take in orders from all over. We pick up the vehicle and deliver it to the client. Bang! Good price. Cash in and gizuar. But the other day we ran into the people in this show, yeah. The scary thing is, I know people like this. Not gangster people, but who talk exactly like my man. Particular vehicle. Lamborghini Huracan. Green. I know where it's gonna be. <laughs> I don't expect you to appreciate the nuances of the symbiotic ecosystem that allows our business to flourish. But yes, I did. Yes. She's definitely the MVP in it, man. We also discussed you leaving my estate by the end of the year, but it wasn't made clear whether that was a financial year or a calendar year. <clears throat> Perhaps we should just name a date. I'll have to check my diary. <laughs> she is too much, man. Truth is, you're looking at a very tight window. This particular vehicle is only going to be in London a couple of days before it gets moved on. We're on a full-on side quest right now, ladies and gentlemen. She's made a name for herself in the world of high-end, super-modified luxury vehicles. Some Damn. of it legal, some of it not. That's the beauty. Nothing in this show is legal, but yeah. A little bit of a burden recently. No, 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 don't say anything. I have been, okay? We don't need to say anything. You are giving me this opportunity to pay you back, and I will not fuck it up. I will Freddy. do exactly what you say. I will I will do anything. Literally. Freddy. Relax. Anything. Freddie, mm -hmm. all you need to do is pretend that you want to buy a car. That's it. That's it. It's just yeah. buying a car. It's all Easy, man. This is the side quest. You got this, bruv. You done the chicken. <laughs> that is this. A man like Vinnie Jones. Pew! For something really special. Then why don't you go to the showrooms in Park Lane? Oh, There's plenty of special cars you can buy down there. They also have plenty of questions. My client mm. values discretion. Do you understand? No, no, no. None of this is going to work for me. When we spoke. <laughs> the accent! But also smooth and lightweight like Siberian Tiger, Anatoly Gavenci Romanov. This is my wife, Anastasia. What is this Russian accent, bro? <laughs> Put the key in and start the engine. I want to hear it. Roar! But you understand. <laughs> kind of cars. So here is the thing, little leopard lady. Fuck oh. money. This well, then you've gone to the right moving place. mad, you know. <laughs> Everyone. Yeah, she loved it, man. She loved that. Okay. Fuck it. We go with the orange. I love orange. What the fuck? Let's do it. I love orange. This guy, man. Just keep them occupied. That car, yeah, looks fucking sick. Fuck. <laughs> It's quick time, brother. Oh, we gotcha. Ooh. Bingo. Pew! Bingo. She's gonna clock it out in it last minute. Yep. Okay, so, uh, what do you think, my baby boo boo? You, uh, you baby boo boo. The car is good. What is happening with this accent, bruv? Very carefully. You wouldn't want to make a mistake. We'll be in touch. Thank you. Come on, Gary. Mission successful, maybe? She's kind of clocked it out last minute. 
My man, yeah. Is he better? Is he better, Dave? So I was driving down the road, and then I got the munchies in it. So I pulled over to get some fucking munchies, mate. It was like a, a what you might call it, one of those piffiny things. Bro, spit it out, fam. Come on now. Girl, innit? But me, I call it an angel. It's just. You got robbed, bro. Simple as. Ends his righteous hand. A van full of headbangers. Pocket full of shrooms. This like smoke guy. And a talk. Project manager as well. <laughs> just know sometimes. You know? Please stop. Go back. Please stop. <laughs> Big up GTA. Can't wait for number six. In order to stop ourselves being associated with criminals, we are going to become criminals. We're not criminals. Yes. Bingo. Might, he says he's sure. not as he's winning a balaclava. Please, you must get me out of here. Fuck sake. Please. <laughs> that car, yeah, this Lambo is fucking well sick. And again, music playing, can't play it, get copyright struck down, and no one would see this video. Oh, sorry. What's in the 150 room? kilos of super oh. premium uncut cocaine in the whole car. This is bad now, mate. Lambo in green just slaps, isn't it? He says he's your brother. Is this true or is this more bullshit like the stupid voice he made, huh? He's my brother. <laughs> he stole from me. Mm. There have to be consequences. Yes, she's spitting. <gasps> As you can tell, we've been misled. Mm. Now you put him in the chair instead of my brother. I believe in a... Uh, Come on. Allow it, man. ...biblical punishment. Mm? Uh. Eddie, for the love of fuck. He's got yes. stinky episodes, man. All three, back to back. If someone tries to steal from you, it's enough to take off a finger. <laughs> take a finger. You don't want that kid chopped off, bro. Oh, hello. <laughs> Let's hear what he has to say, yeah? Yeah, come on now. Mm. Yes? Fuck you. Well, that'll do it. Yep. Finish him. The important thing is that you showed the right attitude. What does that prove, Susie? It proves you've got the stomach for it. Yay. So overall, the side quest was a success, kinda. I tried the dinner menus. It's a date. Okay. Date. All right. Brilliant. I'll see you soon then. Please, bro. Stop, man. Of course not. Like silly. Are they twins or am I losing my actual marbles? You fries short of a happy meal. Shall we light this up? Who is this dude with the hat, man? I'd like to keep him out of it. But you very nearly didn't. Hmm. You were supposed to be getting rid of these people, not joining them. Mm. Eduardo, you can't play a little bit of bang bang. Don't ever do the accent again, my man. And that was episode three of The Gentleman. Now, I'm going to be honest, I'm going to keep it real. This video is probably much shorter than the other two episodes. Uh, probably chopped it down quite a bit. That was Side Quest, the episode. Um, just, you can see the. They're planting little seeds with the, the fucking project dude with the, the drugs and then the two, I don't know, they're twins, I'm losing my marbles, dude with the hat. They're setting up some big, like, robbery heist thing or something in it, yeah, but that was a proper side quest. It wasn't bad, but it was legions of a drop for me personally, score-wise, like, score can't even speak, uh, out of 10. I'm going to go... 6.5 out of 10. Still very good, but nowhere near as good as those one and two. Again, if you want me to continue reacting, please smash the like button. It will tell me if you guys are enjoying this, man. Do you know what I mean? Thanks for watching. Love and appreciate all. Proper sick stuff to come. See you in a bit. Peace.